Hey! Welcome to the Computer Guy Reviews. I am Dusty the Computer Guy, and I'm glad you guys could join us today. If this is your first time, then welcome. We basically do a wide range of reviews, and we try and give you guys honest reviews of that. So today we're going to talk about the Blue Portable Solar Panel. This is a portable solar panel that folds up to be portable. That's why it's portable. Anyways, uh, unfolds, gives you 100 watts. This particular one gives you 100 watts of glorious energy. If you haven't seen my first impression, go check that out at the link over here or down in the description. Uh, while you're there, you can go check out our cool shirts. I'm not, I'm not wearing one of the cool shirts, they're all being cleaned right now. But since Big Blue is not sponsoring this, I get to have shameless plugs of our store. Okay, let's get into the pros and cons. And as I said before, I like talking about the cons. Personally, I like to get the bad things out of the way first. If, you, if the cons are just not something you want to deal with, you don't even have to, you don't even need to see the rest. Maybe that's why they put it at the end of the videos. One of the cons would be how the power is distributed through the control panel on, on this. So this, as you'll see in the pictures here, so this has a control panel. It has two USB type A's, it has a USB type C, and it has a, like a cylinder plug for hooking into jackery, battery packs, and all this other fun stuff. I was really hoping that the, the cylinder plug, 12 volt, it's really not, it's actually 19 volts. So I would not use the alligator clamps that it comes with and hook it directly to a 12 volt battery. That's probably a little dangerous. I just would not do that, don't do that. If I'm doing my math correctly, we have 20 watts at best times for the USB plugs because you have five amps, five times two, which is 10 amps, two USB plugs, that's 20 amps, or excuse me, 20 watts, 20 watts. Uh, 20 watts plus the 60 that is coming out of that, that plug, that's really not giving us the full, the full 100 watts out of it. And technically the USB type C and that cylinder plug, I don't know what they call it. I'm gonna call it a cylinder plug because it's a cylinder plug that the USB Type C and the cylinder plug kind of share. They kind of, they do. They share the power. So if you're trying to plug into either one of those simultaneously, you're gonna get a significant cut. Same thing with the USB. That is a little bit of the drawback. And I, I understand why they did this. Is it's just it's a simple controller. It's fine. It's on it. They wanted to make it as small as they can but still have a lot of the functionality. I totally understand that. Uh, one of the other cons would be that it is a little flimsy and I know it's a portable portable panel. There are lots of other portable panels out there. I'm sure you guys are no any surprise. The Jackery and a bunch of those, they basically just unfold. There you go. They are kind of big and they are kind of heavy those ones this one is not as heavy or anything like that but again we're trying to, we'll keep the good stuff to later we're talking about the cons so it is kind of flimsy but to answer one of the youtuber guys i believe mark he was asking about like kind of how flimsy is it um we may cut to a video here okay we'll cut to a video okay. fine editor do it Are we back? As you can tell, it is kind of flimsy. It's not so flimsy that it's going to rip apart it every time you unfold it and stuff. It is fairly rigid in that aspect. Um, his question was basically asking me, he's got a cloth, an older cloth panel uh, that kind of unfolds and he feels like it's gonna rip and tear and stuff and he just wants to make sure that this isn't gonna do the same thing. Mark, it's not gonna do the same thing. It may take some time. I'm gonna say it may, 
it may last at least a few years, but I'm gonna say it really kind of just depends on how you handle it. I do get a little worried of they cut some of it away, but where they have basically the wires that connect each of the, the segments, as it were, of the cells, um, there's not as much there. And again, it's still pretty rigid. I'm not gonna go dunking it in the pool, but I wouldn't recommend that for any of the solar stuff. Just don't go dunk. That's bad advice. It's 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 fairly well made. It's not. I'm I'm still gonna give it a con for the fact that it. I kind of wish that it could have folded up with some stuff that I could unfold too to give it a little bit more rigidity to it. How you would do that, I'm not an engineer that could tell you what I have done. And again, you probably saw it in the video as I actually used a clothes drying rack that I just unfolded and I kind of propped it in a certain angle. That's what I did. It doesn't get optimal angles, but it, it works for what I do. My wife doesn't like that I'm using the laundry rack for solar. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So, pros. I was talking to you guys before about it getting 100 watts, so, or mentioning that it, it doesn't get to 100 watts. What I have actually done to help get the most out of the panel is I've actually taken this and used a charge controller. First impressions, you get to come a review, depending upon when you watch this. Or it may already be out. Check my channel, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and you'll be notified. Hit the little bell, you'll be notified of that whenever it comes out. So there's a charge controller. So I've got it hooked into a charge control. I'm using the cylinder plug to two wires and I've got those two wires going into my charge controller. The charge controller, since it's an MPPT, it will automatically adjust the voltage and the amperage to get the most out of the solar panel. So I have had it, it has pinked up to over 80 watts at some points for not very extended times but it has gone up pretty high so and I know what you guys are saying you you were just talking about that you can only get 60 watts out of that but I'm telling you we got more than 60 watts out of the plug that doesn't necessarily mean that's what you possibly will get out of the charge controller that's on the big blue but I know that there is some of you guys that are using this to help get more out of an MPPT. So you're trying to find some more portable ways or maybe you just like the brand and you want to help support them because they're a good they're a good company, they make a good product, and you want to just maybe have a charge controller as well. I don't know. I don't know your situation. I'm letting you know that out of that plug, yes, yes you can. Nothing else is plugged into it. That's how much I was getting out of it at particular times. Again, this your mileage may vary. That does that really help the people that are just using the onboard charge controller? Not so much. It's the potential that it could pump out that much. I would say that if you used one of the Type C's and a USB, that it potentially could pump out that much, that you could possibly have the, the fast charger and a type C to type C or something, uh, type C to a laptop or the cylinder plug to a laptop because it does come with an adapt, it comes with a adapters that do plug into the cable, because it comes with several cables, that plugs cylinder into alligator clamps. It has, I believe, um, a red and a black, but it comes with lots of plugs. So you could potentially plug in your laptop and also charge your phone through the same charge controller. So again, that is definitely a pro. One of the other things that I was mentioning was if you wanted to just have this, carry it with you. I know some people were talking about, I think even in their advertisements, that they were literally uh, connecting it to their backpack and having it drape over their backpack, which is potential. You couldn't do that with the Jackeries. They are meant to be set up and left alone, but if you're out hiking or something like that, I mean, essentially the sun's beating down on you. Might as well get some solar out of it. Um, what I was 
recommending was possibly having a battery pack charger because that's actually what we use a lot of this for is to charge up our little battery packs and you could plug that up charge your battery pack you know go out for your hike or something like that and then come back and hook it back up to your MPPT and charge up obviously if you're getting better sun out of out of wherever your campsite's at that's probably a good idea but maybe you're not maybe it's being blocked and it's more of an advantage to take it with you there you go and as i was saying before you know if if you don't have an mppt it it still charges really good it still charges really good out of the charge controller that it has and in all honesty it could charge from three of those ports simultaneously in good conditions you can get really good power out of it you may even get closer to 100 watts out of it again your mileage may vary depends on the conditions and stuff with all of that being said i am going to give this a five out of five i was on the fence of possibly doing a four out of five but i think the potential's there i like it it's flimsy but essentially it's also meant to be portable so i can't I can't really say too much because I've seen flimsy, cheap, but this is just kind of, it's not as rigid as some of the other panels. So that might, that might determine whether or not you want to get something like this. If you want something that's more of a replacement, something that you can pick up and take with you, but it doesn't, I'm not going to drape it over my back. I'm not going to need to stuff it into a backpack or something like that. I just, I want something that I can maybe pull out of my car. Um, space isn't too much of a concern and fold it up and set it up then you might want to look at one of the other ones but I think I like this one better because if you are going to have it in your car something I was also doing when we were out my wife and I for the road less traveled stuff when we were out and about doing stuff I actually just threw it over top of the car just left it on top of the car that's actually a really good idea to do and because it's that is rigid I could I could move it from if it's sun's really high up put it on the top of the car if the sun's starting to go down start draping it over the front windshield and that's a pretty optimal condition there you go five out of five I like it thanks again for watching guys and don't forget to hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe bell notification maybe you guys want to see what we're gonna talk about with the MPPT did you get a Victron He's a cheap channel. Stay tuned for that, guys. We'll see you next time.